Vice-Chancellor Olson, Rector Olson, I like that uh, Latin term better actually. Iyadi colleagues, friends, ladies and gentlemen, let me extend a very warm welcome to you all here in Bergen at the Iyadi Nordic Conference. As a Yadi, we are very grateful to the Norwegian Association of Development Research, who is co-hosting this conference with us, and have found it a great pleasure to work together in the past 18 months. I do believe this conference, and I go back with a Yadi relations um, back to 1980, forget that immediately, I have found, I believe, this conference is the one with the smoothest organization I have ever seen in the history of EYADI. Especially, let me thank Erlen Eitzvig, Tord Ro, for their close cooperation with our EYADI team, headed by Jürgen Wiemann, EYADI Vice President, Susanna von Itter, our Executive Director, and the full teams behind both of them. We have become good friends in the process, and I look forward to future cooperation. Our hosts are, as you can see from your program, the University of Bergen and the Christian Michelsen Institute. The University of Bergen, as the rector has just mentioned, has indicated, is very internationally oriented, and your current strategy, focused on sea, life, and society, recognizes global challenges as a priority area. The Christian Michelsen Institute has a long-standing focus on development research, and indeed one is one of the few institutes in Norway which focuses primarily on research in the Global South and has been a long-standing member of EYADI. The work of both institutes resonates with the current theme of our conference on globalization at the crossroads, rethinking inequalities and boundaries. And I would like to thank both Vice-Chancellor Olsen Tora Sutterdal of UIB Global, and Director Otto Mastad, am I saying that right, of the CMI for your commitment to the goals of IADI and the conference. When we started our discussions on the theme for this conference in the management and in the executive committee of IADI, several political processes were making waves across Europe and indeed globally. The USA election process and its candidates the wars within the Middle East and North and West Africa, the international stream of people migrating for political and economic reasons, and the European countries' reactions. But equally, the agreement on the SDGs which was reached and the Paris Agreement on dealing with climate change. The way these processes were being framed in the political arenas of Europe and the US made us realize how important it is to keep the perspectives of countries in the global south in the international arena, both to counterbalance the political rhetoric, which does not reflect actual trends in the world, and also to bring forward forcefully the advantages of an increasing global interdependence and polycentric world. This was the reason for us to raise the question of globalization again for a reassessment. To what extent is it a set of exclusionary and monopolistic processes, or is it possible to shift globalization processes to, towards more inclusionary processes by developing and renewing social contracts which recognize the rights of people in the world everywhere? Therefore, we decided to start off this conference by inviting our keynote speaker for the Dudley Sears lecture to reflect on an essential global infrastructure which strongly influences or determines the potential for exclusionary or inclusionary economic development, the issue of financial power and inequality. Our speaker for this afternoon is James K. Galbraith, who holds the Lloyd and Benson Junior Chair in Government and Business Relations at the Lyndon B. Johnson School of Public Affairs, and also holds a professorship in government at the University of Texas in Austin. He chaired the board of the Economist for Peace and Security from 1996 to 2016, and currently directs the University of Texas Inequality Project, 
He was also executive director of the Joint Economic Committee of the United States Congress in the early 1980s. In the mid-1990s, he served as chief technical advisor to China's State Planning Commission for Macroeconomic Reform, and in the first half of 2015, he served as an informal advisor to the Greek Minister of Finance. In 2016, he advised the presidential campaign of Senator Bernie Sanders. In short, an academic with an extensive engagement with society, which is very much at the heart of what we, our perspective in EADI. I'm sure you are looking forward as much as I am to hearing him speak. The floor is yours, James. Thank you.